Hi, my name is Jessie Ilhart. I was a 2008 core member in Chicago and Northwest Indiana in the early childhood cohort. And now I am the co-founder and executive director of VOCEL, viewing our children as emerging leaders. VOCEL is an innovative nonprofit here in Chicago that delivers early learning and family support services to families in overburdened, under-resourced communities. So when the pandemic first hit Chicago, we pivoted all of our classes to online. Our teachers worked really hard to design activities that would still align with Bozell's philosophy. So play-based, movement-based, interaction-based activities. And then social emotionally, thinking about not only the stress and the anxiety that children were experiencing, but also that their grown-ups or their families were experiencing as well. We believe that parents are children's first and best teachers and that parents are hungry for the resources and the support to be able to support their young children to thrive. We learn from each other, which is very good. It's good to know that I'm not the only parent in that situation, that somebody else has been there before. Knowing that I wasn't alone, you know, hearing the stories from other moms and other families, it meant a lot. Bosell's team decided to expand the scope of services to also think about some of those emergency support. That came in the form of diaper distribution, clothing and cleaning supplies, food access, not only to, to groceries, but also access to meals from restaurants in their communities. My husband and I both had lost our jobs, but there was that light in the tunnel that provided us that extra support just doing that for families, they have no idea um, how greatly it impacts us. And I, I'll be forever grateful for this because in our case, it did benefit us a lot. And we have Isabella. That resilience from our staff and from families has been a result of bringing challenges to the forefront and talking about the challenges that we're experiencing and really working together. There's no words to describe it. Grateful is the word I would use and even more. That little weekly thing has grown into a family for life.